Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is widely known to many as the Viper and is one of the most famous fighter aircraft in the world of aviation. This fighter jet has evolved through decades of service and technological advances to come out as the most mass-produced Western fighter jet to date, with more than 4,500 units built so far. Serving in the air forces of more than 25 countries, it continued to be the mainstay of air defense. Now, with the Block 7072 updates, this outstanding aircraft will also be a workhorse of air combat in the future on par with fifth-generation fighters. But what exactly has made the F-16 so successful? And how is it becoming even more powerful and deadly with the latest improvements? But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The most striking feature of the F-16 is its revolutionary fly-by-wire system, which completely changed the way the aircraft was flown forever. While pilots of older aircraft used traditional cables and pulleys to move control surfaces, the fly-by-wire system does things differently. It converts the pilot's commands into electronic signals, allowing the aircraft to be much more maneuverable and faster than its predecessors. It also makes the F-16 extremely maneuverable, responding quickly and efficiently to even the lightest of nudges. In fact, the fighter is now so dependent on this system that it simply cannot fly without it. It has four levels of redundancy in the flight control system for safety and reliability, especially in extreme conditions. This technological leap gave it an early nickname, the electric jet. But let's go back to its history. Initially, the F-16 was designed to be light, fast, with the uncomplicated task of air superiority in daylight conditions. For the 70s of the last century, that was quite enough. But it did not take very long for the airplane to transcend the concept. Its lightweight reinforced airframe can withstand G-forces of 9 Gs in allowing pilots to make tight turns and fast maneuvers required when engaging other aircraft in the air. The F-16 pilot's seat has a tilt of 30 degrees, which is much steeper than the usual 12 degrees of most fighter jets. Coupled with a rudder off-center rather than centerline, this allows the pilot to endure higher G-forces for longer periods. Throughout its years of service, the F-16 has transformed from a daytime fighter into a true multi-role fighter in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, arguably one of the most versatile aircraft ever built. The numbers speak for themselves. With more than 3,000 F-16s still flying around the world, the fighter is an unequivocal success. Its performance, reliability, and adaptability make it indispensable to air forces from the United States to Europe and beyond. Able to deliver precision strikes, patrol no-fly zones, and dominate air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, it remains a fighter favored by military strategists to this day. So how would a fighter jet that's already set the benchmark for modern combat be improved? The answer lies in the new Block 7072 configuration, which is indeed the latest and most advanced version of the F-16. This version takes the Falcon to new heights, availing advanced technologies that keep it relevant in the era when fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 and F-22 have started dominating the airspace. It features an AN-APG-83 active electronically scanned antenna array radar as the heartbeat of the Block 70 upgrade offering the F-16 fifth-generation fighter radar capability. These systems are like those installed on the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. It has better range, target detection, and tracking in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes. It also enhances survivability for the aircraft in difficult combat conditions by providing long-range detection and destruction of the threat. Advanced radar is complemented by the inclusion of an Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, or AUTO-GCAS. In development with the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, NASA, and the U.S. Air Force, AUTO-GCAS is an essential life-saving system designed to take over and prevent flight on terrain crashes. All the more important for the F-16 because of its dual role in air-to-ground strikes, where the aircraft have to fly low and fast over dangerous ground. Since its introduction, already seven pilots and six aircraft were saved by Auto GCAS. It constantly monitors the aircraft's flight path and is able to automatically take control if the pilot becomes disoriented or incapacitated to avoid a collision. 
Block 7072 modernization builds upon decades of weapons integration testing, ensuring the aircraft continues as a flexible platform to carry current and future munitions. It has certified well over 180 types of weapons and magazines, a total number in excess of 3,000 mounting and release configurations on everything from air-to-air -air missiles through the precision-guided bombs. It made the new F-16 an unprecedentedly flexible combat aircraft and a wide range of military functions. Whether neutralizing enemy aircraft, striking ground targets, or supporting troops in some sort of battlefield configuration, the Falcon will be prepared to perform such tasks. The new F-16V cockpit will be very helpful in this case, with the most advanced technologies that make the pilot's job easier and more effective. Multifunction displays in high resolution show clear, real-time data from everything about flight path to target information. Adding digital maps enhances situational awareness for better navigation and mission planning by the pilots. However, the game-changing difference is a new JHMCS2 helmet system that enables targeting of an enemy well out of the normal field of view of the aircraft by looking at him. This technology provides F-16V pilots with a distinct advantage in both air and ground combat. Also, by adding the capability of conformal fuel tanks, the F-16 Block 7072 will see its range and time in the air increase without adding any marked drag or loss of maneuverability. These are formed to snugly fit into the fuselage of the aircraft, preserving its aerodynamic profile and enabling an aircraft to stay in the air for longer, a very important feature for patrol and strike missions. By the way, these tanks have been invented by one of the main U.S. non-NATO allies, Israel. Originally, they have been made for the F-15 and only for the Israeli Air Force. But as this development appeared to be very successful, now the F-16 has such tanks, and in the future, fifth-generation aircraft will receive the same improvements. And the new Block 7072 design also extends the aircraft service life by 50% over previous models, guaranteeing that the F-16 will remain a viable fighter well into the 2060s, if not longer. The F-16 traces its origin to the years immediately following the Vietnam War, when the U.S. Air Force recognized its need for a more agile fighter capable of air superiority. The Vietnam experience, where much air combat fighting took place over very short ranges, underlined the need for a fighter capable of engaging the enemy at visual contact and possessing enough power and performance to outmaneuver him at high altitudes and speeds. Energy maneuverability theory, worked out by Colonel John Boyd and mathematician Thomas Christie, provided the foundation for modern design. This theory made it possible to make correct calculations of aircraft performance that became the guide for what would later be developed as the F-16. By the early 1970s, Boyd's lightweight, highly maneuverable fighter dream had finally taken form in what was then called the Lightweight Fighter Program, or LWF. This would create two planes competing against each other, General Dynamics YF-16 and Northrop's YF-17. The result of very extensive tests and trials in 1975, the YF-16 came out on top with a better climb rate, acceleration, and performance. It would not be long before the U.S. Air Force, along with NATO allies, took to the skies in the F-16, cementing its status as the fighter jet of the world. Although its official name is the Fighting Falcon among pilots and crews, this aircraft is better known as the Viper. This nickname surfaced in the early years of the aircraft's deployment, when pilots at Hill Air Force Base noted that the sleek, cobra-like appearance of the F-16 resembled a Viper snake. Although the Air Force eventually settled on Fighting Falcon as the official name of the aircraft, Viper stuck, and it remains today the most common name the aircraft has with those who fly and maintain it. Since its introduction, the F-16 has flown in virtually every major U.S. military operation. The F-16 has participated in combat beginning with its involvement in Desert Storm back in 1991. Through to today's wars, it has also played an important role in NATO operations, such as enforcing no-fly zones and supporting airstrikes in theater conflicts like the Balkans in the late 1990s and Libya in 2011. The international users also rely on F-16s during regional conflicts, making this jet one of the battle-hardened aircraft in service. What mostly stands out with this aircraft is that while its history is already long, the F-16 might just reach a completely new phase in its life cycle. With this modernization on Block 7072, 
This iconic fighter will fly for many decades more to come by integrating both emerging technologies and emerging threats. For many air forces with stealthier fighters like the F-35 entering service, the F-16 remains affordable while being very reliable and its operational flexibility on the modern battlefield has secured an array of combat-related roles. Born out of the lessons of Vietnam and fine-tuned by decades of combat experience, the fighter continues to evolve, proving that even after 50 years of service, the F-16 is far from finished. In fact, with these latest advances, it may be just the beginning. What are your thoughts on the F-16V? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.